so the first I heard of this was because um, so basically the first thing I heard was eight people dead. I was like, mm. oh, it's, it's a mass shooting. Yet another mass shooting in America. And so blah, blah, blah. So, okay, well, so where is it now? Who is this crazy psycho dude? Like, because normally, like, okay, look, I'm not being racial or anything. Again, mm. this is a real conversation. It's like, I'm just okay. Who is this crazy white dude who has these mental issues that has now gone to now kill loads of people? Because nine times out of ten, it's a crazy white dude that does these mass shootings and so forth. So mm-hmm. when I was like, oh, no, this is like at a concert. like, what? And then the setup was there was like a stampede, and people yep. rushed forward and so forth and everything. And guys couldn't trouble like, like wait, wait. you can that made sense way back in the seventies or the sixties. I think there was this massive. I think it was Woodstock or something where yep. these kinds of things ha- happen. But in twenty twenty one, and Travis Scott is one of the leading musical acts on the planet. Mm-hmm. How how on earth does that work? So obviously, the latest thing we've now found out is that he said he's now going to um, pay for the funeral costs of all of the victims. He's going to cover the, the costs for the funerals for, for all the victims. But here's the thing, though, is that like, it's not Travis Scott's fault. You know, the faults uh, are down to the organizers where... Because again, you've been to a concert. I've been to a, a concert. And... When you go to a concert, like I remember when I, I went to a um, um, concert for Soundgarden, because this was one of the, the times that they came to reunite, mm-hmm. I was like, man, these are a lot of people, <laughs> you know, and it's a whole lot of people in a small congested space. Because see, the thing about, see, I'm not sure whether it was a stadium, because the thing about a stadium, a, a football match is, it was a style. venue, it could fit 200,000 people. The, the venue could fit 200,000 people. But, that's, but, that's but, but it wasn't structured as a stadium because you like a st- Because see, when I went to see mm. South Garden, which is at the O2 Cinema, I think they're like there's like one or two entrances, just mm-hmm. one entrance and just one big space, and we're all in there yep. as well. So if you don't really organize that well, it's very easy to get trampled on and everything. But in, in a stadium, you know, you have turn style, turn style, turn style, so, so, so you have like little pocket style that people can go into. But my mm. but, 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 but what I don't understand is. In 2021, one of the biggest artists on the planet. How the hell does this does this how happen? I mean, okay, it's just, here's the thing. I, I I don't agree with you that I feel like Travis is innocent. I do agree in the sense where I hate when people do this. Whenever there's a big like problem like, or big issue like a situation like this one, they just try to put the blame on one person mm. as if like it's only him. It's only like no, no. The, when it comes to a, a, a setup this massive. There's multiple people to blame. Production is to blame. Uh, Travis Scott is to blame. Security and the officers on the on the location are to blame. Like the whole setup, multiple people are to blame. You can't just put just Travis Scott. Like obviously Travis Scott probably held the most power there because he could have just been like, you know what, I'm stopping the show. But I'm not gonna lie to you, HH. If I'm Travis, I'm I'm Travis Scott, right? Mm-hmm. I'm sitting there, and I these fans have paid. They came here, and he's he's known for his wild shows. Like Travis Scott has had people paralyzed at his show before, who jumped mm-hmm. off of two story buildings. He's he's in, in, incited people breaking into his concerts. He's mm-hmm. he's he's previously egged people on to do shit like this, and he had multiple situations before to learn from it, and he never did. Like so, like that's why I do hold him to blame for it. But like, you know, his shows are known for being wild, right? So. I don't know for him in that situation if he's even like comprehending. He's like probably zoned out in his zone doing it. I've never been in that position, so I mm-hmm. can't really tell him, blame him 100% for it. But I do feel like he could have because he has stopped the show for less. He stopped the show because somebody took his shoe once. Oh, yeah, wow. Have you seen that clip? Have you seen that clip no, where no. a guy tries to steal one of his shoes? He literally stops the music, stops everything, points the guy out. They drag him, beat his ass, take the shoe back, oh, and then they keep yeah, you know, they, they did, he did this. He, he stopped okay. the show for much, much less. You know what mm. I mean? Now, obviously, the rich they look at us as us than than than, than shoes, bro. Like that's that's that we've known that before. But mm. um, when it comes to this whole situation, HH, like it's he, I, I can't absolve him from criticism because, like I said earlier, like he's the one that's eggy. Never he 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 he, he, inc- he in, like encourages this kind of behavior for his fans. Like he's the one that asks for mosh pits. Like you know what a mosh pit is, HH? You know what a mosh pit is. Riff. It's when you just you go in the pit and you just no, no, like, no, no, no. And exactly, no, no, like I'm a guy who used to listen to Slipknot's Death Tones, yeah, it's all like, that you know, kind of stuff. Like, but, 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 see, here's the thing mosh pits have existed for mm-hmm. decades. Like, have you heard of this band called the, the Onyx? Mm-hmm. 
Of course. Rap band. This is basically because me and yeah, my, yeah, 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 me and my friend Star, we, Star, Star, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, um, Sticky Fingers. Yep, went to sticky. went to, went to go and see them in London for one of their shows, and they're like hardcore rap. So um there are and there was a mosh pit. Because basically, because me and my friend were like, well, bro, bro, because we actually got scared because these guys went wild because they, they did one of their, they said, um, mm-hmm. slam, da, 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 da. let the boys be boys, yeah, slam. And once that thing yeah, comes on, smart. guys go crazy. But my thing though is, bro, mosh pits have existed. If you're a yeah, certain kind of an artist, and because, set, see, it's Slipknot, whether mm. it's Slipknot, whether it's Metallica, whether it's Slayer, whether it's Onyx, the, a mosh pit is part of the vibe and it's part of how you it's vibe. Just, on none the of show. those are as big as Travis Scott, though. Like Travis Scott is a global icon. Travis Scott is in Fortnite. Travis Scott is in McDonald's. Travis Scott is dating Kylie Jenner. The, like arguably, they're probably the most popular like like couple on the planet right now. Like Travis Scott is on a different playing field to all those people. You know what I mean? And not only that. He had 50,000 people is what they set up the concert for. Apparently, they said, like, almost, like, there was how many, like, 70,000, something like that, like, were in there? Like, mm. it was it was way above the capacity. No, no, and no. You see, 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 okay, sorry. But, right, I'm going to stop you there. Like, and then I'll go about it because <laughs> I get what you're saying. But, right, this is why I still believe that it's up to the organizers. I am an artist. Mm-hmm. And there is a particular, when you paid for my show, I want you to have a whole experience. And part of that experience is I want to, because your that vibe is part of my artistry. The vibe of the crowd, what the crowd is in my artistry. Now, it is up to the organizers to say, Travis, for what you want, you can't have X, Y, and Z. Because the organizers have to know that, all right, this is how much space we have. Oh, so a Travis Scott show. So what does it entail? Mosh no, but they stormed it. They stormed it. They, they like Travis Scott. Like there's tweets for him where he told people to break into his concert, and people broke into his concert and they stormed it. And that's why they went above capacity. And that's where the problem came in. And on top of that, I did not blame Travis Scott when this first came out. I was like, no, like honestly, like the, the music was loud. There's a ton of people yelling. He's in his zone. There's a lot of lights. He probably mm. didn't even know what the fuck was going on. He's mm. singing and he's giving the fans. He's not going to stop the show for his. His fans paid his money and he's giving the yeah. fans what they want. He's being a, a good artist, but. He did one thing where I felt like he fucked up. For I think it was like eight minutes into the set, I read that he stopped the show to make way for like ambulances or something like that, and then he went uh-huh. back. Now, when you stopped it, that means you know he was he was aware that it was a mass casualty situation, mm. and he just kept going. Like when you do that now, like in, in the court of law, because let's let's be honest, because we're talking about this, because like what happened happened. Like yeah. rest in peace for the people that passed oh, yeah, away. For sure, yeah, yeah. Like uh, my wish, like my, my heart, like. And my condolences go, just yeah. go out to them and like I, I pray for the people who got injured that they get better like but like we're, we're beyond that point right now and it's all about like okay who are we going to blame for this now i mm. agree with you the main blame is on production i don't blame travis scott solely for this like i said i want to cast him only as if it's only his fault which is what everybody's trying to do as if like oh, no, no, but, 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 but from what you're saying though he ha- he has to take some blame exactly and, because, and, and because, because, is... because again like guys they listen to you like because those most people are sheep so you are a leader so i think at a certain point, you have to take so much of some leadership and if, if you can see that okay, things could get a bit, a, bit, a bit crazy. And I saw in like an article too where people were talking about Kylie, like she was, she, was, she came out and I don't know what she tweeted, I don't really care. But like in, in, in the video where she tweeted out, you could see ambulances and emergency lights in the background. So like, and that was like near the start of the show. And like, not only did they not stop, they went down and brought on Drake. So if you have an already hyped up crowd, right, mm. who are amped, and there's like there's layers of people on top of it. If you read the reports, it was terror. Like that's that stuff is terrifying. Like imagine being stuck in an ocean of people where you are on the ground and nobody cares. Like they're just stomping over you, right? Like and there's they bring you bring out one, the biggest artists on the planet. That's gonna take it from a ten to one hundred. Like yeah. it's gonna go off the scale. Like it was very irresponsible on everybody that was organizing that that event. Like. Honestly, I feel like like for Travis Scott, like I, he's look. To be honest with you, I don't feel like this is this is overall net positive for him. Let's just say he he gets sued. He he pays out let's say fifty million. He just mm. got like a hundred million of press worldwide. His name is on everybody's tongue. I'm a man, man. It, 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 trust me, it, it, yes, yes, yes. It's one hundred percent. Are you kidding? Hey, 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 come on, bro. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. To old fogies like me and you, yeah, yeah. But, but we're not we're not his audience. But to kids, you, when you're a kid, like you said it, you said it, mosh pits, like you, you see, you're like, I went to that. Like people are narcissists nowadays. They want to insert themselves in every natural disaster, in every situation. Mm. Now, anybody that went to that concert, 
they went into legendary status for everybody in their life because now they can be like, oh, I went to that shit. I was there. That shit was wild. It was crazy. I went to a show that was so insane that people died. I know it's a horrible way of looking at it, but that's how kids oh, think. No, 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 kids, I, kids, no. Kids, no, kids, no, they see, love see, that see, shit. Because again, wait, so, so, so how old are you? I'm 28, actually. Yeah. I actually just turned 28, October 19th, so. Hey, oh, hey, whoa, whoa, Oct- October babies, man, October babies. Oh, you're, man. you're also in October. Um, October oh, 4th. October oh, 4. oh man, well, happy belated, bro. Happy belated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. October 4, October 4. Because, hey, yeah, I'm October 4. My sister is, is October 14. Um, I'm say all October. <laughs> yeah, no, but um, my thing, though, is. Um, okay, so, 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 what were you saying, saying, saying again? So, you were saying. So, so uh, what I'm saying is, like, HH, like, for, for, for the kids, right? Like, oh, so, now yeah, yeah, people so, want to so, go to his so, shows so, even so, more. So, kids, see, I don't know how kids are thinking these days. I have an inkling based off of the music and the musical artists. So you may be right in the sense of, because I'm not thinking that properly, but kids, the youth, they're so wild and they're so crazy out there that maybe for them, they're like, oh man, this is really cool, man. Oh shit, man. So I'm dying. Oh, so yeah, I mean, but, but I'm talking about it in larger context. Mm. So maybe for the younger generation who may be warped, it may be like, oh geez, this is like really, really cool and so forth. But I think guys who let's say let's say guys who are not youth who are not Travis Scott fans and people like of like your age group, my age group, people older than me, it's like, oh, that's just bad, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like that's just not cool. You know, um, this is just like a really kind of sad situation. And if there are young people who think this is cool, oh my! I mean, then, then I mean, HH, think about this. Uh, Imagine when you're going to the world, Onyx man. concert when you were younger. When you're going to the Onyx concert in your youth, mm. if your mom or like any adult in your life comes and sees that, do you think they would condone uh, that? Be like, what? This is this is what you like? No, you can't go. This is this is bad. What is this wild? This animal behavior? Yeah. Would you have listened? Oh yeah, I mean, I mean like I mean, <laughs> kids naturally rebel against it. kids. Will, wait, wait, what wait, kids wait, like wait. is the opposite of what old people wait, agree wait, with. Wait, 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 wait. And I think you may have this in Arabic culture so, because I think Arabic culture and African culture are the same. Mm-hmm. I don't think we get to rebel against our parents. You see, oh, that's yeah, we something we, we get our ass beat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you <laughs> see, <laughs> see that whole thing of rebelling that's for the whites, you know. But yeah. for Africa and the Arabic thingy, our parents will if you want to take out a gun so, and check brain, this out. So, when I was so. when, I, when I was 16, right? When I was mm. like, this is back. Uh, so I used to play football for a club in the youth level. It's called mm. Nadi Al Wahda in Syria. And uh, then I got a knee injury because I went through a growth spurt and oh, uh, okay. I like and I added on a lot of weight and I would run a lot. I was really fast and my knees couldn't handle the added weight that I added on with the amount of movement that I had. So my knees mm. started to hurt. So I had to uh, wear like uh, wraps around my knees for like a whole year and I couldn't like sit down like or like crouch or like bend my knees uh, to a certain extent. Mm. I had to always like, you know, uh, sit on chairs, like high chairs. And mm. so like for me, like, you know, for, for Muslims, we have to pray. So you have to go on your knees. Yeah, I couldn't yeah, do yeah. that. I had to pray on a chair uh, yeah. for a year. So I stopped like I, I had to quit football i had to quit playing and um i started going hanging out in like p- billiards and like playstation stores like place where you arcades and you know like this is back in syria so hmm. I, I i started smoking oh like cigarettes because i started hanging out with the wrong crew right we were just playing yeah. cards billiards yeah. pool that's the crew that you hang out with rare rare there so um obviously my parents did not approve of this when my dad caught me he like put like mm-hmm. a beating on me. my mom put a beating on me so but even though in my culture, like we, we we can't really rebel against our parents, we can't like go like oh, f you mom. You'll take the beating on the chin, all this stuff, but you'll still behind their back, go and do you know your little shit like without, yeah. without having anybody know. Like even if let's say for example, certain music, your mom will tell you like no 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 no, you can't listen to this because look at all the swearing. All this no, stuff. no no no, you're, you're gonna trying listen to find to ways it. of doing it where you can't get caught. Exactly, you know? like like so. when I remember like when I I had I had the re up. Uh, by 50 Cent and Eminem and mm. uh, like Shady uh, shady a- Aftermath, all that. Like I had that that CD and uh, I mean, I'd once listened to it. I was like, what is this filth? Like, don't like throw that out. Like, don't only ever listen to that garbage. Mm. I didn't listen. I just like took it and I like would just never listen to it around my dad. Yeah. Like, because as kids, you always are going to just do what you want to do. No no parent can control their parents. No matter how, how strict our cultures are, it just pushes us even more to rebel. But mm. with nowadays, especially with this era, it's even worse, HH, because now we have an era of narcissists. Like, think about it. Whenever you see, like, a natural disaster or anything, people always, like, take a selfie. Now, why are they taking a selfie? Because they want to insert themselves in that moment as if, yeah, like, yeah. it's that moment is, like, it's happening to me. It's not just that it's just happening. It's happening, like, I was there. They want to show mm. it to people. So... 
when you have a, a, a global situation like this, right, where we're pre- now everybody around the globe, like I'm, I've heard people in the UK talk about, it. I've heard people in Australia. No, no, talk no, about no. It. it's it's but it's major, man. It's major. Every, a major, major, and like when you have this, and you have kids that are 16, 17, 18 that have went there and 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 survived and came out. Those kids. Oh no, no, it's, it's you know, it's not. It's like an adrenaline rush. Exactly, and now the and young generation. Rush. So, so overall, for Travis, like for him, it's just, there's a, there's a saying that says, "No publicity is bad publicity." He's no matter how much he's going to pay on lawsuits, it's going to pay dividends. And now, because the best part about like TV programming is just hearing the name. They just mm. want you to repeat the name, right? Now, Travis Scott went from like an A A tier or S tier artist to an S S S tier artist. Like but, he but, just, but, but, but he, he was already top top. He's already oh top he was he was already top tier A tier. But like there was still. Like for example, I, I did see some uh, because I follow a lot of people from the UK, you know, like because of football and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I did see a lot of people who actually did not really know Travis like that. A lot of people that are like, you know what, I'm just too much into the UK scene. I don't really mm. care about the American scene. But like they probably heard of Travis in passing, or but they weren't really into him. You know, it's sort of like like for example, like with me and Lil Baby. I've never really heard a Lil Baby record. I've heard the yeah. baby, I've heard of a ton of other, but Lil Baby, I've never really heard like I just know his name, but maybe one day he'll like do something where it puts me on to him properly. Mm. I'm, he clicks with me. Yeah, and yeah. Travis, this this is probably a lot a, bit, a big clicking moment for a lot of people where he, as an artist now, is registered. And you know what happens? They, they, there's a th- th- same way they tell you, like, you know, when you buy a car, you start mm. seeing that car everywhere. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I never used to see a BMW 330i. I'm not even. I never. It never. When I bought one, I swear to God, I see like four a day. Mm. I see like all the time. Oh, no, no, it's, 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 it's what how it happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So his name now clicked in a lot of people. That now every time they hear his song, they're like, "Oh, that's Travis Scott." Yeah. Oh, yeah, I no, like because, this song. because it just happened because stuff that you normally disregard normally once yep. it now comes to you, you now become a lot more aware of it. Whereas before, you pretty much disregard it. So, and that's why you see he doesn't give a shit. You, did you see his apology video? <laughs> did you see his apology? Like well, the guy's like, oh, like I, go actually, hh, Google it right now and watch Travis Scott's apology video <laughs> and no, tell no, me no. if that looks like a man that that is bothered. At all. No, no, I, I mean like I can already <laughs> first of all. I don't. I don't even want to because based on what you're seeing from it, I actually really don't even want to even view it now. Based on what you're seeing, how it's like, and I can already tell what I think the apology video is going to be like. And my thing though is that this is that look. Um, for you see, for these guys, whether I told you like I, I don't listen to, the, to their music because I remember I think some people were saying, "Oh yeah, listen to some Travis Scott." So I was like, oh. and I tried to listen to it. And I said, no, "I fuck with Travis Scott." By the way, his music is really good. He gives it just me, doesn't like, hit it with me. You yeah, know, it's, it's like, it's like Kanye West 2021. He's got that weird sound. Yeah, no, no, no. But, no but see, it's a very unique kind of thing sound, but it just doesn't click with me. 